Hey down dudes, it's Dave Desai, welcome back to my channel. Today I have some interesting news for you today. I wanted to get into a couple of picks that had been released recently and leaked by Big Hitster. And some people have been talking about this and very curious if Jungkook might have a lip piercing. I definitely want to talk about this. I also want to get into this controversy with BTS and lip singing at the Grammys. What happened with this? So grab your dumpling, a tea spilling mug march, and let's get into the team. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified anytime new video drops. And if you're a hater, like and subscribe, leave your hate comment. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing I want to get into is these new picks that Big Hit released that armies believe would be Jungkook's new lip piercing. Now if you aren't aware, Jungkook is someone who loves or maybe even is obsessed with getting tattoos and piercings. He has a lot of tattoos on his arm and hands and could possibly even have tattoos on his abs or chest. And we don't know because he never shows us. Now on his ears, he has multiple piercings and all over his ear, which is a lot of ear. Where I believe a lot of the BTS members have ear piercings, but maybe just like one or two. Now Jungkook loves piercings so much. I believe it was Han Yu Siu, who I think is an actress. She was hosting an award show or something. And there's still arguments over when she went up there with her nose piercing. If Jungkook was actually making fun of her when he gestured to his nose as he was looking at her. Many people, including myself, think that he was simply admiring it and trying to make a comment like, oh, this is so cool. He was probably more so shocked that it was okay and that they allowed her to wear it during the broadcast. I don't know the regulations for piercings in Korea, but they definitely do not allow tattoos on their broadcasts and the show will have the artists who have tattoos to cover up like have them put bandages and all that just so it doesn't show and I guess makeup won't do because they'll sweat it off I'm not sure so with that all said a lot of armies believe that Jungkook would love to get more piercings and more tattoos and there's even edits going on of Jungkook and his tattoos and even lip piercings but today we're not going to be talking about some of those edits we saw online we actually have something that Big Hit released that people believe is leaked image of Jungkook with a piercing this is Jungkook's latest concept photo People have been going crazy over this because it's giving us a very dark and cool vibe to it. We know that the new song Butter is going to be interesting. I don't think I've heard of a song called Butter and it was not like a jokey, funny type of song. This could definitely still be the case, but from everything they've shown us so far, it seems like it could be a serious, deep, meaningful song about their love of butter, I guess. Because honestly, same mood. But one concept photo we are talking about today is this one. This one is from their concept photo book that Big Hit put out. Jungkook is wearing this beautiful red top and his beautiful earrings, but in the photos you can kind of see kind of this small shadow on his lip. Some people immediately thought this could have been a piercing. Now I don't see an actual ring or anything like that there, and I'll get more into that soon. But I can definitely understand people thinking that if he got a piercing, it would be something for himself, not for the comeback, and he might have taken it off. And what we could be seeing is a small shadow of a hole that would be there. However, I did go ahead and zoom in, and I don't think there's anything there. The photos are very vivid HD or even 4K. You would definitely see those holes or piercings. I think Jungkook just has two bumps on his lip to make them look so much fuller and nice. He just naturally has like a lip dimple, so it can appear as a piercing. There was other quote unquote evidence that appeared, which is from this clip here. I believe this was an interview or something, and I cannot find the exact clip where this came from. Please let me know. But Jungkook was standing there as some of the other members were speaking and he was kind of rolling his head in a sexy way as he tends to do. He even stands there better than I do. I don't understand how that's possible. But when he rolled his head, the light hit his lip differently and it made a bit of a reflection. This was of course something people thought could have been a piercing. One person on the tweets that wrote, Jungkook lip piercing when? That is so funny. It actually does look like something that is reflecting off of his lip. But again, I do think it's his lip dimple and there's probably a bit of gloss or chapstick in there and it's making a shine. It also doesn't help that a lot of these video footage clips are in potato resolution and you can't see nothing. Like I have to save these photos up the contrast and saturation just so there's something to look at. People are definitely mad and actually a lot of these tweets are mad that Jungkook might not have one. I don't think he has one but I surely would love it if he does get one. I think it'll look hot and of course if it's what he wants then it'll look really good and probably suit the type of music he will be making. Maybe during a solo Jungkook mixtape we'll have new tattoos and piercings as concept photos. Can you imagine? I'll die. I'll actually just stare at the pictures and then just never wake up again because there will be no reason to. My life has been fulfilled and nothing else matters anymore. A lot of armies were also definitely mad at the amount of stuff still going on with the Grammys. There's a lot of controversy with everything going on and I wanted to give my two cents all collectively here. So first off, some of you guys might already know that the Grammys did not upload BTS's performance to their official YouTube channel, but a lot of artists that performed that night had their performance uploaded. Although BTS did officially upload their performance to their channel eventually, but of course the initial reaction to why it wasn't 
person on the Grammys page is going to be racism. In fact, I thought so too, but I always try to do as I preach here and kind of look into it and not jump to conclusions. At least not all the time. I know I get stuff wrong every now and then, but I try to at least back up what my opinions are. Now, I don't know if this is 100% true. This is just my theory and conspiracy, but I think a lot of the artists have performed in America and it might have been recorded by the Grammy staff, meaning the performance rights will be given to the Grammys and not the artist. Now, BTS performed in Korea and likely was recorded by Big Hit. So Big Hit actually owns the rights to the recording, meaning there was likely some issue with the rights of the performance to which Grammys could not upload it. I did think it might be weird for them to constantly tease BTS in their commercials and all that, but when it comes to uploading actual performance, which now has millions of views on Big Hit's channel, they would just not want that? Of course they do, but maybe they didn't have the rights. Korean law could be different, y'all already know that. With the Grammy performance uploaded on their channel, it of course sparked this debate as to whether BTS was lip syncing or not. And I think this was because there might have been an audio delay in the performance, or maybe more so an audio delay in the video. There's a lot of clips online that were re-uploaded versions that weren't the best quality or synced up correctly. So it can seem like they weren't actually on the lyrics, which makes it look like they're lip syncing. But they sound good and like the track. But it isn't exactly the track, right? Like you can hear them breathing, you can hear them move and jolt, and cause their voice to shake a tiny bit. This is how you can tell it's live. I don't care who you are, if you move too much at one point, your voice is going to move a little too. So I don't know what people were exactly thinking, but also if you did not know, K-pop stars do not lip sync. It is not only not allowed, TV shows won't air it if it is. It's such a big scandal and there's this whole point of having to train for many years before they can debut. There's artists in America that will be an upcoming artist and maybe only perform on a stage three or four times. They'll get signed and make a single that immediately blows up and now they're on Jimmy Kimmel or Ellen performing it. And you can tell they have no stage presence, their voice is not as good, as they haven't developed their skills to sing on stage too much. So maybe when those artists blow up too fast, they opt for lip syncing, which is fine. But K-pop artists don't do that because they would not be allowed to debut if they had to lip sync. I was reading people saying this on the tweet stone. So I commented under BTS Grammy performance saying, and the mics are on. And someone replies with the mics are off. I guess they can't see the difference between lip sync and live vocals. To me, it's very clear that it's live. I wouldn't know how to explain it to someone who can't see that, but I will say this. Is it not impressive enough that they're dancing the way they are for three or four minutes? Like let's say for argument's sake, they decided to lip sync, but you can't dance sync. That's definitely live. So is that not impressive on its own? Given the fact that they were definitely singing live, I don't see how this isn't something that people are praising BTS even more for. It's very ignorant because they clearly don't know how K-pop works. There is no idol or group that cannot sing and dance that has debuted. They're not allowed in the industry if they cannot do those things. But anyway, people will continue to be ignorant and refuse to learn about another culture. And there's nothing you can do about that. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm Patreon in this comment right here. Thank you so much for your cause. And as always, I do have a Patreon. If you want to go over there and check stuff out, I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get videos over there like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you have to see over there. Link is in the top description down below. I also have a video over there kind of explaining Asian and media and my journey on that. I really do appreciate if you go over there and check it out. It would mean a lot to me. It also talks a little bit more about how you can give even more back to this channel if you would like to go ahead and do that. Make sure you check it out. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video, so click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.